Hi guys, this is Joanna from Custom Quilts and today I'm going to show you how to do these little uh, kind of overlapping swirls. Uh, this is a really easy motif to quilt. It's great for adding texture to negative space and uh, it really pops. I'm using Quilter's Dream wool batting and so you can see it's a pretty lofty batting and it really makes that quilting pop nicely. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to quilt a swirl. So you're basically just doing a circle and then following it into the middle. And then once you get to the center, you're going to round that center and go back out and follow your lines. So on your way in, uh, your lines are going to be fairly far apart. You'll see what I mean whenever I start quilting here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the first one. And the main thing about this design is you don't want to backtrack too much on these lines. Um, you can see, well, you... You might not be able to see that. Let me go ahead and start and I'll show you what I mean. So, I'm following my lines back out. Okay, and I'm gonna stop as soon as I get to the line of this previous swirl that I had quilted. And I'm gonna fill this area right here. So I'm gonna come up this line just a little bit so that I have room to, to quilt a curve right here. And I'm making sure that I'm quilting like right on top of that previous line. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and quilt a curve. A little circle. Okay, now this is going to be my center. So I'm going to round that middle part. And I'm going to come back out of it. And I'm just barely going to touch on that line on the previous swirl. And then I'm going to come back around. Now I will tell you, the slower you go, the sloppier your swirls are probably gonna look because it's hard to make um, a smooth round line when you're moving really slowly. So the faster you quilt, <clears throat> excuse me, the faster you quilt, the smoother your, your curves are probably gonna turn out. Okay, so now I'm, I want this swirl to be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna follow this line down a few stitches and then I'm gonna echo that curve back out, just like that. And so I'm not quilting on top of these lines, or through them rather. And now I'm gonna come back up and trace this line a few stitches. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and make my next curve. And I'm gonna kinda kiss this line right here and then take it back out. Just like that. Now I'm gonna trace down a little bit so that I have enough room to make a curve. And then I'm stopping once I get to my previous line. Just like that. So basically you're just quilting these swirls and kind of overlapping them. So I'm going to come back out a little bit and go into my next curve. These remind me of like cute little snail shells. I love doing these. Now I'm going to trace back on this line a little bit of this previous swirl, come back out. Just like that. Okay, now this is kind of an awkward space to fill, so I'm actually going to backtrack along this line and maybe even come down here to start my swirl. Because if I start here, uh, it's going to leave me kind of a weird path. I'm going to end up over here and I want to be over here so I can come out and quilt this way. And I could definitely just quilt a smaller swirl to fit in there, um, but I want to maintain the size and kind of consistent look of these, so that's why I'm, I'm backtracking over here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go into my swirl. Okay, and this one kind of looks goofy but that's okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go into my next big one. And this is kind of gonna be a weird space, so I'm gonna go ahead and echo around that line again so that that fills nicely. Okay, so let's say I don't want to I don't want to quilt up here. I want to come back down and fill this space. Well, now I, my needle end up, ended up over here, so I'm going to backtrack along this line and I'm going to echo back around so that my my travel path is down instead of up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is really such an easy motif. You just keep doing this until you fill the entire space. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit more, go into my curve. And I just try to keep the middles of my swirls, the centers, really smooth and rounded. Otherwise, uh, you'll end up with like a little point on your swirls and it'll look kind of funny unless you do that to all of them. In that case, it'll look fine. back around. I didn't backtrack very good on that one. Back up. Okay, now I'm going to go into another swirl. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a very basic, straightforward design. I hope you'll give it a try and give your quilts a little bit of texture in that negative space. Thanks, guys.